Hi, this is Tutor Nick P, and this is Prefix 9. Prefix that is astro, A-S-T-R-O, as a word beginning. Okay, somebody want a screenshot? Do it right now. Let's get right to it. All right, now we're going to cover, uh, you know, astro. Astro is a common word beginning, and we have a lot of words in English that actually begin astro. We'll probably be covering some of the most common ones in today's lesson. All right, so let's look at it. Astro, as a prefix, means pertaining to the stars. The origin derives from Greek astron, meaning celestial body. So that's where we originally got the idea. Let's continue. So here's a first example, astrology. Of course, this is quite common. The study of the movement of celestial bodies and how these movement affects people's lives, especially in regard to their, posi their position at one's birth, but even their positions later are supposed to affect, you know, whether your luck or whether something may happen in your life. Uh, that's the idea behind it. Uh, all right, let's continue. Uh, so Jack has read dozens of books about astrology. So it's a study, so you could do that. All right, the next one, astronaut, of course, you know, an American space traveler. Well, remember the other space agencies, they have different names, like uh, Russia, I think is a cosmonaut, and I think uh, Chinese is a taikonaut. So only the American space traveler is an astronaut. And then and also the not the not or the not uh comes from Greek meaning sailor. So I guess the idea was like, you know, it was a star sailor. Uh I guess that's how they got the idea for astronaut. Alright, let's continue. Uh here's the example. So Neil Armstrong is believed to be the first astronaut to set foot on the moon. Alright, let's continue. Astronomical. Now we got two meanings here. One, it's kind of an adjective of astronomy, meaning relating to the study of the stars, uh, or extremely high prices or costs. We use it a lot for that one, too, meaning the costs are so high, it's like they're reaching the stars. That's, that's the idea behind that. So that artwork sold for astronomical prices. Okay. And uh, the second one here, that astronomer wrote some astronomical reports. Or now, remember, astronomer is a scientist of astronomy. And astronomy is our next word, the study of the universe beyond the Earth's atmosphere. Okay. And our example sentence for this is he likes to look at the stars through his telescope and study astronomy. Okay, great. Let's continue. Uh, astrodome, a transparent dome on an aircraft or spacecraft or a large dome on a sports stadium. So this one also has two uses and two meanings. Uh, the stadium in Houston has an Astrodome. Remember, and the team is actually called the Astros, the baseball team anyway, the Houston Astros. Uh, they have an Astrodome on that spacecraft. Okay, great. And the last one we have here is Astro Navigation. Uh, yeah, I've heard of this before. So, uh, navigation by using the position of the stars. Uh, so, or navigation through space. Okay, so we could hear it used both ways. So, you know, before they had a compass, this was one of the main ways they traveled on the sea. At night, they would look at the position of the stars and figure out how to travel that way. So here's our one example sentence for this. Uh, some indigenous people sailed by using astro navigation. You know, uh, we know that there were some native people that used to travel that way. By looking at the position of the stars, they could figure out which way to sail. Okay, anyway, I hope you got it. I hope it's clear. I hope it's informative. Thank you for your time. Bye-bye.